Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, yeah, so in this video, I want to talk about uh, the informal definition or basically explain uh, what's sort of a quadratic variation of Brownian motion. Okay, so you can, uh, so when you see the stochastic calculus, that is, let's say you have some Brownian motion, B, right, uh, say T, and uh, you will see this kind of formula. Okay. So basically, you can view this as uh, Ito's formula uh, or Ito's lemma. Because once you know this, then uh, they say uh, given any function ft with uh, bt, if you do the differentiation as a tidal expansion, right? You can say that uh, this is f of t dt and the f of bt dbt. Right, but uh, since this term is still alive, right, so you will have half of f of bt bt. So this is the second derivative uh, with dt. Now this is d bt squared. Okay, so once you have this, then you can prove this. Then the, the you have a, a whole thing of the whole stochastic calculus, right? So, uh, this is so this is why. Uh, stochastic calculus come from if you have this formula. So the problem is that why this is true. So this is sort of the quadratic variation of Brownian motion. So in this video, I, I will explain uh, why this is true. Okay, so uh, I will in this video let's talk about informal uh, informal definition. Okay, so uh, informal definition basically uh, given. Uh, uh, let's say okay, Brownian motion, let's say B, let's say you have zero to T. And the what quadratic variance definition is that you separate this into, let's say, uh, N different terms. So let's say these terms, I T divided by N, this is I plus one T divided by N. So uh, I can define a quadratic variation. Let's say divided to Q, it'll be summation of average of this. Uh, Okay, so I say, uh, okay, I, I, I don't do average, I say this, B of I T divided by N minus B of I T. Okay, so I of minus one T divided by N. So this has two random variable difference. As I take square, and I sum from I from zero to a minus one, right? So I calculate, so basically it is this. But then for each, uh, to I calculate its difference and I square it, and I let n goes to infinity. Okay, so this is called the quadratic variation. Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna to say is that uh, in a Brownian motion, this quadratic variation is non-trivial. Okay, so Q is non-zero in Brownian motion. Okay, so what this means is that in general function or the smooth function, it should be zero. Okay, so this is the very simple theorem. Let's consider any function which is a uh, continuous uh, C1. So basically it's, it's differential is also continuous. Let's say on zero one, so it is zero T. Uh, then uh, Q of F to be zero, approved. Okay, so uh, very simple, right? Say you take T to be uh, I of T minus f of i minus one t divided by n, and you square it. Okay, you sum over this. Okay, and uh, obviously that is, is uh, you can bound it, you can use the mean, mean field, uh, sorry, the mean value theorem, right? So there should be some uh, Psi i, where Psi i belongs to i minus one t n, and uh, i t divided by n. So it's plus i and uh, so it's t divided by n squared, right? So sum from i from zero and minus one squared. And then since it's differential is continuous, right? So this first term is bounded by, say, take absolute value, but it's bounded by some fixed number, right? So it should bound by some fixed number m, and from zero to the minus one, t squared divided by n squared. Uh, where is m, t squared divided by n squared times n. 
So it's n t squared d by a. So this goes to zero as n goes to infinity, right? So general, the uh, good function, right? As most function or a CY function should not have the quadratic variance, quadratic variation. Okay, but the uh, Brownian motion has quadratic variance. Okay, so connect. Is that uh, this Q of Brownian motion should be T. Okay, and uh, if you differentiate both sides, then you can, this is why this equation comes from. Okay, because this is quadratic variance, right? Square is D, DT. So you can build this equation, it's the differential form of this. Okay, it's not differential geometry. That, that, that is not differential form, that differential geometry, but it's like some kind of differential form. Okay, so proof. So let's write down definition. So it's i from zero and minus one. It's b of i t divided by n minus b of i minus one t divided by n squared. Okay. Uh, so this is a random variable, right? So I should that this is x i. Okay, so x i is a normal distribution by the definition, right? So it's x i is n of zero and the t minus t divided by n. Okay, so this is i from zero and minus one. The xi squared. Okay, so uh, the expectation value of xi squared is t divided by n. Uh, so you can just divide by n and the times n here. Let's say i from 0 and minus 1 xi squared. So these are independent variable, iid independent variable. Right? So you sum over uh, a lot of iid independent variable. Okay. And then with the variance, also oh, with the exponential value t divided by n. So here, with you can use a strong law of large number. So you will converge to t divided by n. You will converge to its absolute uh, the exponential values. Okay, so this is t. Okay, so you can so this is dpt right dpt square, and then you get. T. Okay, so this is what why uh this is why this is called the quadratic variation or the quadratic vari variation of Brownian motion. Okay, so uh this explains what Ito's lemma comes from. Okay, see you guys next video. If you want to see more stochastic calculus, you can check out my video list. Thanks.